Hi everyone! In this video I will present the newest update to Dash, the world building plugin for Unreal 5. This 1.9.2 release includes new tools, thousands of high-end completely free PBR assets and much more. So let's jump in. So let's start with one of the most exciting additions, the Mesh Pattern tool. This is a fully procedural tool that lets you create tileable patterns out of any assets. So, if you need a floor, a wall, or even a roof with repeating details, Mesh Pattern can generate that with full control and variety. It also comes with several built-in presets, like bricks, basket weave, herringbone, floors, and hollow bricks. And you can also adjust the material of the presets to better match your scene. you get a lot of customization options, like scale, rotation, padding and noise. This works even with the proximity mask, which allows the pattern to adapt to the surrounding geometry. But if the presets don't fit your needs, you can design your own. For example, I can bring in four custom meshes and use them as repeating elements. I add them as pattern objects and I assign the floor plane as the surface object. Then when I move these meshes around, I can see that the entire pattern adjusts in real time. If you are struggling to create your perfect pattern, you might need to add a reference area which you can do from the bottom of the Mesh Pattern tool. Notice how the tiles now shift alongside each other as I move the objects around. It gives you a lot of flexibility. Once you've created your custom pattern, you can save it as a preset and reuse it later in any UE project from the preset list. Mesh Pattern also has a slice feature, which is really useful. It lets you cut sections out of your Mesh Patterns based on specific shapes, giving you even more control. Next, we have integrated the Amazon Berkeley Objects library directly into the Dash Content Browser. You now have access to a huge collection of high-quality, free of words 3D models, completely free, right inside Dash. You can easily search or scroll through these assets in any Unreal project, and when you drag and drop them into your scene, Dash automatically handles the download and importing for you. The library includes a wide variety of everyday objects, from kitchenware like mugs and plates, to furnitures like chairs and tables, and even accessories like shoes and backpacks. You can also adjust their materials with the Material Edit tool and of course scatter them or drop them with physics directly from the content browser, just as you are used to. We also integrated the Base Mesh library to the Dash content browser. The library provides a wide range of clean, low-poly models that are ideal for blocking out scenes, testing ideas, or using as a foundation for more detailed work, all available for free. Once inside your Unreal project, you can drag and drop any of these meshes straight into the scene. Here I prepared a new scene using Megascan's materials. As with previous Dash versions, we can easily modify the Megascan materials add effects like rain, snow, desolation and more. Of course, this also works with the assets from the previous mentioned ABO library and the Polyhaven library. But now, in addition to these rain effects, we of course want some falling rain as well. Let's try the new rainfall tool from Dash 1.9.2. With a single click, you can add a fully procedural rain effect to your scene, complete with parameters you can easily adjust to match your environment. You can find this tool either by search or in the create menu on the dashbar. 
Once dropped in, I can control a bunch of settings such as rain amount, spawn radius, the angle and much more. If I want some real depth in my scene, I can even increase the distant fog to make it really foggy. This update also brings a snowfall tool, giving you a beautiful procedural snow effect with full control over its look and behavior. Whether you want a light flurry or a heavy blizzard, Snowfall adapts to your scene with just a few tweaks. We added the new Draw Spine tool to allow you to interactively draw and edit splines with tangents. Very useful for those cases where you want detailed control of your splines. When you draw, you can project the tangents just by pressing Shift and edit any previous point by just clicking on it. The spline works perfectly as a mask, for example with Surface Scatter. Let me show you. First I select a few assets from the content browser. From dash 1.9.2 you should hold Ctrl to select multiple individual assets or hold Shift to select all assets between your first and the second selection. You can also press Ctrl plus A to select all the visible assets. While holding down Ctrl I drag the assets above the ground and select the scatter here option. Then in the pop-up tools panel I add the spline to the proximity mask section. But I can also add the spline as a surface object to my mesh pattern, allowing me to create, for example, a procedural brick wall in just a few seconds. In addition to the features we've covered, Dash 1.9.2 also includes several smaller features and bug fixes, like slider intensity control and the path tracer support for the advanced water. Be sure to check the official documentation for the full details. If you enjoyed this video, give this a try for free and see what you can create. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.